So get this. G.I. Joe Retaliation, which was originally scheduled to be in theaters June 29th, has now been moved to March 29th. Now you might be saying, Brad, what is that? How can, how can a movie move back in time? How can it go backwards in release date? How is that possible? No, 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 no. You see, it's not going backwards. We don't have a DeLorean. That's not possible. They're pushing it back, meaning back further in time, all the way to March 29th of 2013. And you might be asking, why are they doing this? I mean, what is the good reason that they could take what's going to possibly be a multi-million dollar movie, a blockbuster, summer blockbuster that everybody's been looking forward to? The first G.I. Joe did great in theaters. So what reason could they possibly have for moving it this far back? One of my favorite things in the whole entire world. 3D, three-dimensional movies. Oh, yes. How wonderful they are. Well, 3D is probably the biggest crock of shit I've ever seen hit the movie industry. Most of the movies aren't even 3D, and you're lucky if, like, two things in a movie pops out at you and actually looks three-dimensional. It's a crock of shit. They did it in The Immortals. They did it in Thor. It's not really 3D. It, they never have been. None of these movies are ever that 3D. They're just, they are just they just have a tagline put on them that are 3D. Now, the reason why they're doing this is not mostly for this country. I got this information off of IGN, who got this information from Deadline. And uh, they're saying is because uh, across our waters in other countries, I guess like Europe... 3D is real big because you know what? The people in this country aren't really buying into the whole 3D concept. See, with me, I don't like 3D. It bothers my fucking eyes. And I hate the fact that you have to wear the glasses. It's mandatory. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. If I want to take my glasses off, I best be able to. But you know what? You really can't because if you do, the screen's all blurry. See, you have to watch it in 3D. Like, yeah, you gotta fucking watch it in 3D. If you don't like it, too fucking bad. Shove it down your throat. Take this 3D and eat it. That's what basically the movie industry is telling you. You need to like 3D. And if you, do, if you don't, too fucking bad. You have to see the movie. And if you want to take off your glasses, ha ha, it's going to be all blurry. Look, it's a big fucking crock of shit. I don't like this at all. 3D. I was really looking forward to this movie, G.I. Joe Retaliation. I mean... You know, I wanted, I wanted to see this, Spider-Man, The Dark Knight Rises. I mean, this was going to be the, the perfect summer of movies. I mean, they got a lot of great stuff coming out. I just saw Battleship, which whet my appetite. I mean, that was a pretty good movie, too. You know, I was looking forward to this. And then all of a sudden, this is the announcement. Holy shit. I've never seen this before. This, is a, this has got to be a first. They're moving a movie all the way back a whole fucking year just to put it in 3D. They're that desperate to make a, a, a couple of extra bucks. Listen, people are going to see it anyway. The first G.I. Joe wasn't in 3D, so why does this one have to be? Uh, why are they doing this? Why do they have to make everything fucking 3D? 3D is an old technology, and seemingly it hasn't improved much from when they did it like 50 fucking years ago. Stop with the 3D shit already. It's enough already, and it's fucking ruining my summer.